Selamat malam. Salam sejahtera kepada anda semua. First of all, uh, I nak berterima kasih kepada host uh, Kak Sheila and Abang Mutu kerana menjemput saya untuk memperkongsi pengalaman saya kat sini. Uh, really, really thank you so much. And I will also see a good friend here, uh, Mr. Palani. Thank you for for the support. Okay, so uh, uh, first of all, I'm not here to uh, teach you how to do MWA. Because you have a superb leader here already. Uh, Abang Mutu and Kak Sheila, they are extremely good couple. They are very, very dynamic and hardworking couple. And they are very good leader in building the MOA business. I always see them in MOA HQ. So uh, you have a good leader to follow. Uh, but uh, uh, Abang Mutu invited my wife and I to share here tonight. I think uh, they hanya nak kita buktikan satu benda. Uh, istri saya dengan saya, uh, kami sangat-sangat ordinary But we make it successful in the MOA business So if we can do it successful, maybe you hear about our sharing You got inspired and you can also make it in this business as well Alright? So uh, maybe some of you uh, never know about us uh, My name is Min Tian, uh, my wife is Hui Yin we are both graduated at pharmacies. So uh, we did very well in our studies. SPM, both of us, we get 10A1. And my wife is a JPS scholar. So we follow our parents' advice. Dari kecil-kecil belajar bersungguh-sungguh, masuk university, dapat result yang sangat baik, balik Malaysia, kerja dengan government, we work very hard, get good income, live a happy life. But that is not true. So, uh, dengan gaji government, husband and wife pharmacies, is never enough. We are looking for opportunity. Alright? And let me begin by sharing a story dulu. Uh, biar saya share tato cerita. So, uh, in the jungle, there's a competition. Uh, the, the, the king of the jungle is Lion King. Lion King announced akan ada satu pertandingan. So, semua animal, digalakkan untuk take part, register. It's about a swimming competition. So, of course, the frog yang boleh berenang, dia juga uh, register lah untuk, untuk pertanding. So, on that day of pertandingan, uh, before, right before the pertandingan, the judge uh, suddenly announced, uh, nanti you boleh swim dengan any style you can swim, except the frog style. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. So everybody terjun and start to swim. But the frog ah, dia buat macam ini, dia sudah stun. Dia tak tahu nak buat apa lagi. Sebab, except for frog style, dia cannot swim anymore. So my, my, my question to all of you here who are listening, what if I take away your profession? Can you still generate income or not? Apa akan jadi bila saya ambil you punya profession? Bolehkah anda continue to make money? So because the frog, they are not human. They don't know what is called a backup. But kita orang manusia, kita kena ada fikir, kena ada backup plan. 
masa lapang kita, kita kena luarkan masa ini untuk build satu business yang boleh backup untuk kita. So, coronavirus is a real test against all the businesses out there. It's a test against the immunity in two different ways. Number one is your body immunity against the viruses. Number two is your financial immunity. Sama ada anda masih boleh generate good income during the MCO and also after the MCO, what happened? So my wife and I, selain jadi pharmacist, we started to build Amway business at the age of 24, right after graduation. So we worked very hard during these past 10 years. I'm, ve I'm very glad to share MCO, despite MCO and coronavirus, my business this year grow more than 40% compared to last year. So my income also will grow. So how did I come into Amway business? I want to say thank you to my introducer. He is my business partner. He is my one year senior in the pharmacy field. His name is Kelvin. So I really, really nak berterima kasih kepada Kelvin untuk introduce Amway Business bagi saya. I can say Amway Business has changed my life. So masa itu, dia bagi tahu saya dua konsep. Dia kata, selain jadi pharmacist, kita ada masa lapang. So masa lapang kita, is better to build a part-time business compared to part-time job. Because business belong to you. Part-time job belong to boss. So it's better to build something for yourself. And then second concept he say, kalau kita nak buat business, make sure this business is for long term untuk jangka masa panjang. And also this business must be very profitable. Kita buat business kebab kita nak untung duit. Mesti nak untung banyak-banyak duit baru kita buat business. So dia cakap pasal Amway dengan saya, saya pun dengar. And then I nak say, uh, berterima kasih kepada ibu bapa saya. Uh, mereka sangat uh, uh, sokong saya dalam bisnes ini. And then I uh, want to thank my mentor, Mr. and Mrs. Law, for always encouraging me, for helping me, for guiding me, for teaching me into doing the Amway business. So uh, please give them a virtual clap to say thank you to them. And uh, mula-mula, bila saya expose kepada Amway business, uh, fikiran saya, first one, uh, Amway kena jual produk. I selalu ingat Amway macam anti uncle punya business. Kita graduate lah, kita not interested to sell Amway products. Right? Number two, kalau jual-jual barang, I mesti make small money. Let's say ya, I jual vitamin. Satu botol, I untung RM20. Kalau satu bulan I nak profit RM2,000, I kena jual 100 botol vitamin. I ingat pun sudah takut lah, I tak berani nak buat. Tapi I, I was wrong. Amway is never about selling. Imagine you run a business, every month you sell a few hundred thousand, but you yourself hanya jual satu ribu. Do you like this idea or not? Meaning that you sell or you don't sell the entire month, your group sales is more than a few hundred thousand. Then of course you are making money from your business. And then number three, dulu dulu I ingat, Amway is for non-professional. Uh, they got nothing better to do. They come and do Amway to sell, sell barang, draw some small profit. So I was wrong again. Because today, 95% uh, of my group, they are all professionals. They are doctors, they are dentists, they are engineers, accountant, banker, lecturer. And of course, there are a lot of pharmacists, doctors, nurses in my group. Okay? And uh, let me share with all of you. Uh, like I say, my wife and I are very ordinary. Kita orang yang sangat biasa. Uh, selain kita sangat pandai belajar, kita tak ada lain yang pandai lagi. We are very good in our study. Aside from study, uh, uh, nothing else. So uh, I joined MOA at the age of 24, and then I was from KL. Government posted saya kerja ke Johor Bahru. So number one, I have no network. I tak kenal orang. Okay? Number two, I tak ada experience. Tak pernah buat business. Tak pernah jual barang dalam hidup saya. Number three, I tak ada courage. I tak berani nak approach orang. I, I, I'm quite an introvert person. You bagi I satu komputer lah, I can duduk dekat komputer 12 hingga 14 jam main computer game. 
Itu saya sebelum saya buat MW. And then also saya tak ada duit. Saya hanya seorang farmasis. I I I I was driving my five years old Proton Mira. I hanya sewa bilik ke Johor Bahru. Bukan sewa rumah, sewa bilik saja. So at that point, kita saw MW. And kita buat MW. Uh, all I have to say is, my wife and I, we have very good learning attitudes. We are willing to listen, we are willing to learn, and we are willing to take actions. Kita cuba, cuba lagi, cuba, cuba lagi, sampai kita belajar skills untuk buat MBA business. Okay? And then, uh, masa I mula-mula I start buat MBA, I been objected, I been rejected by my friends and family members. So, I saw the opportunity, I thought it's a very good opportunity. I was from Johor, so I came back during the weekend. I tak sabar-sabar nak share dengan kakak dan adik saya. Saya ada tiga orang kakak yang sayang dengan saya. Ada satu orang adik yang sangat dekat dengan saya. So of course I share the opportunity with them. But all of them rejected me. So kakak yang uh, uh, kakak yang uh, number one cakap, uh, MWA I tak sesuai lah. Uh, nanti you sudah berjaya, you tak cari saya. Uh, Lepas saya sudah ada gambar dalam magazine, saya cari dia, dia kata, you boleh buat, saya tak boleh buat. Uh, kakak kedua saya, dia sangat generous, dia banyak kawan. Saya cakap dengan dia, MW boleh buat. Dia cakap, MW tak boleh buat, nanti sudah buat MW, kawan semua rally. So, dia tak mau buat MW. Uh, and then, saya punya adik, dia cakap, MW saya tahu, you tak payah cakap dengan saya MW. Dia main computer game, dia kata, you ambil borang mari, saya sayap, saya jadi member. So, dia sayap, lepas tu dia tak mau buat MWA. Lepas 10 tahun sampai hari ini, my kakak, my adik pun tak mau buat MWA. Uh, tapi, dia orang semua VIP customer saya. Dia pakai semua barang MWA. Okay? And my wife, uh, dulu dia girlfriend saya. So, hari pertama, kita sama-sama pergi dengar MWA. So, lepas dengar, uh, dia cakap, MWA boleh buat. Let's try MWA. Lepas tu, uh, dalam masa satu bulan, dia uh, atau satu hari dia call saya, dia cakap, uh, I rasa I tak mau buat MW lah. Uh, I pun tak mau you buat MW. Uh, sekarang I bagi you dua pilihan. Satu you pilih MW, satu you pilih saya. Uh, saya sudah dating dengan my wife ah, my, my girlfriend ah, four and a half years. Uh, so, uh, lelaki-lelaki sekalian. Kalau your, your girlfriend tanya you, you nak pilih saya ke pilih MW, Uh, which one nak you pilih? Macam mana you nak jawab? So let's see in the chat room ah. Siapa yang pilih MW tekan satu. Siapa yang pilih girlfriend tekan dua. Siapa yang tak tahu macam mana pilih tekan tiga. Eh semua semua senyap sangat tak tak mau pilih. So I I was very clever. Saya sangat bijak. I cakap dengan dia. I dua-dua pun mau. I mau you jadi girlfriend, I pun mau MW. Uh, so, uh, hari ni, uh, dia jadi isteri saya dengan tiga orang anak yang comel. And then, MW business, I sudah jadi emerald. Okay? Uh, and then, uh, kita started just like most of you. Because kita tak ada pengalaman buat MW. I punya, uh, I, I dalam MW, uh, lima bulan dalam MW, I dapat I punya first income. 70 ringgit 29 sen. So if you were me ya, maybe you sudah give up already. But why isteri dengan saya kita tak give up? Although kita never make money in the MW business, 70 ringgit 29 sen. So because kenapa kita tak uh, putus asa? Because saya lah orang yang masuk kelas MW. Ali keluarga saya my sister, my brother, my parents, my girlfriend, dia tak masuk kelas. I masuk kelas, I pergi understand, I pergi dengar cerita lain-lain orang yang sukses, I nampak apa yang I mau dalam hidup ini. Dia orang tak nampak, that's why I persist. And number two, because they don't understand the value or they misunderstand. And number three, mungkin saya succeed too slow. Let me ask you, kawan-kawan sekalian atau ibu bapa sekalian yang mana satu ibu bapa akan uh, uh, object dia punya son or daughter satu tahun boleh extra 
seratus ribu setahun. Ada siapa yang akan bantah ke? Tak. Oh, oh. Any siblings yang akan bantah adik dia, satu tahun akan earn extra. 100,000 a year. Ada orang akan objek tak? Mesti tak akan objek mah betul tak? Sebab kita sudah berjaya terlalu lambat. Betul tak? So, uh, lepas I graduate, I deposited to uh, government hospital untuk kerja. Okay? Uh, just nak check ah, I punya suara clear ah. Kalau tak clear, uh, Kak Sheila, you can uh, you can stop me ya. Because uh, it's very quiet. I, I alone, I cakap dengan sendiri saja. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, uh, lepas graduate, I pun dipost ke government hospital untuk kerja. So, setiap hari sama saja. Bangun pagi, gosok gigi, pergi hospital, bagi ubat, balik rumah, main komputer, tidur, esok hari, sama saja. Sampai I boleh nyanyi lagu. You nak dengar tak? Bangun pagi, gosok gigi, pergi hospital, pagi ubat, balik rumah, main komputer, esok hari sama saja. Hari-hari sama saja. Every day is the same routine. So, I nak cari satu jalan untuk keluar. I want something more in my life. And then I went to the classes of MA. This is how I get exposure. I mula faham, kita orang manusia ada dua kaki saja. Duit ada empat kaki. Kalau dua kaki nak kerja empat kaki, sangat susah. You tengok, ah, duit kita, ah, gaji kita masuk satu bank, CIMB Bank. Sebelum kita sempat pergi ATM nak keluarkan duit, ah, itu duit semua sudah online. Maybank to you, Public Bank to you, Hong Kong Bank to you, HSBC. Sebelum pergi uh, ATM, uh, duit sudah habis. So orang cakap, uh, itu gaji, uh, gaji bulanan sama macam period woman. Satu bulan datang satu kali saja. Satu kali datang, lima hingga tujuh hari sudah habis. It's very true. So my mentor cakap dengan saya, Min Tian, jangan kerja wang. Kita kena kerja bersungguh-sungguh dalam sistem Amway. Because the Amway system can take care of your Amway business. And your Amway business akan menjanakan wang untuk kerja you. Lebih baik. Betul tak? And then number two, my mentor cakap, jangan jadi Superman. Superman lah, satu orang saja in this world. Superman very powerful. Dia underway pakai Luar punya. Kita orang underway pakai dalam. Betul tak? And then Superman lah. Dia satu orang boleh kerja. Tak payah rehat punya. Tapi hari ini Superman pun ada keluarga. Kalau I tak buat Amway 10 years ago. Today, I akan jadi super papa of my family. Sebab I ada isteri. Ibu bapa sudah tak kerja lagi. I ada tiga orang anak kecil. So, kalau my wife suddenly tell me ya, dear, I choose not to work anymore. So I have to be the super superman, betul tak? So what happen kalau something happen to saya? Apa akan jadi kepada keluarga saya? Semua hutang-hutang yang belum settle lagi, betul tak? Superman pun boleh jadi sakit. So my mentor cakap dengan saya, jadilah Spider-Man. Spider-Man dia sangat pandai. Dia pakai part time, dia pakai free time, dia buat jaringan network. He look for a group of people to work together under the system to fulfill each other dreams in the business. So, I faham satu benda. Dalam business ini, you have to find the right people. Find the good people. Find the hard working people. Right? So, I have managed to find a group of professionals who are like me, who want something more in the life. Dia kerja bersungguh-sungguh dalam bisnes ini. Uh, so these are all my uh, 15% and above leaders. Uh, other lecturer, other banker, other doctor, other pharmacist, other dentist, other uh, engineer, other accountant, other engineer. Uh, uh, so these are all professionals yang already making good income during their daytime. Uh, yet we are working 
closely together to build our MOA business. Okay, so let me banding to you. Apa yang kita mau dalam hidup? So let me ask in the chat group again. Uh, some of you are, are, are very young, Gen Y. So imagine lepas graduate, you pergi interview, you punya first job. Bila you pergi interview, first job ah at the age of 25 years old, apa yang you nak dalam kerja itu? Boleh answer saya tak dalam chat group? Apa yang you nak? You nak duit ke? You nak apa ke? Apa yang you nak kalau you pergi interview? First job. Uh, I saw here Chandra Morgan to this duit. Money to live my life. Experience dan duit. Uh, banyak orang cakap duit. Tapi you see ya, uh, you cannot be, you, you cannot go to interview ah. Uh, first job you cakap, boss, I tak nak kerja weekend ah. Uh. I tak nak kerja OT ah. Uh. I nak duit banyak-banyak ah. -banyak, uh. you, 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 you don't talk like that mah, betul tak? You can cakap, boss, this is my first job. Kerja pertama. I study buat part time. I study buat overtime. I study buat weekend. I study travel. Because all you want from the first job is experience. Betul tak? I saw somebody write there experience. First job kita nak experience. Let's say lah, fresh graduate dapat 3,000 as a start. Okay tak? Okay lah. So after kita kerja untuk 5 tahun lah, sekarang you akan jadi senior. Betul tak? Now you sudah jadi senior, apa yang you nak? You sudah ada experience. Sekarang you mesti mau duit. Betul tak? Kalau company A tak bagi duit banyak, company B bagi lagi banyak duit, you akan pergi company B. Kita semua orang yang sama mah. Okay? So lepas you kerja 10 tahun, sekarang you sudah ada experience, you sudah ada income. Apa lagi you mau? Dalam kerja. You ada experience, you ada income. Apa lagi you mau? You sudah kerja 10 tahun. So you might be looking for extra benefit. Income definitely going higher, tapi you nak extra benefit. Oh, mungkin kerja ini, dia dekat dengan rumah. So you nak kerja ini. Mungkin kerja itu uh, more, more safe, lagi selamat. Dengan kerja yang satu bahaya, you tak mau. You nak satu yang safe. Okay? So lepas you kerja 15 tahun, sekarang you sudah jadi manager. Apa lagi you mau dalam hidup? You sudah ada experience, ada income, ada benefit. Apa lagi you mau? Ah, sekarang you sudah jadi seorang bapa. You sudah jadi seorang emak. You nak some time to spend with your family. Betul tak? You nak some leisure time. Betul tak? Although your income is very high, you nak something else in your life. And what about at the age of 45 to 49? Let's say now you are the uh, you are the, at the highest position already. You CEO dalam company. Your income is very high, 30,000. Apa lagi you mau? You mau security. You mau health. You see ya, uh, from start until the end ah, uh, people at the end of the working life, they're looking for security. They're looking for health. Nasehat. Betul tak? Tapi I, 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 I'm very sure Abang Mutu dengan Kak Sheila started to promote about health every minggu, even to young people. So you see how different is the uh, working life and MWA life. And what about bila kita pension nanti? So sudah pension, retire, you dapat income lagi lah kalau you kerja dengan government. Kalau you tak kerja government, then tak ada income lah. Uh, masa umur 70, you akan jadi negatif. You tahu kenapa? Sebab you sakit na, and then you ada anak, ada cucu, nak minta sini duit, sana duit, so you punya wang keluar, keluar, keluar jadi negatif. Okay? So let us look at the comparison dengan Mway business. Banyak orang, dia join Mway ya, lepas tiga bulan, dia tak dapat duit, and then dia give out. So sangat, sangat, sangat sayang, because people don't understand, bila you go to work ah, you nak experience dulu. So, masa dalam Mway, your first goal should go to experience. Your first one to two years is the time for you to learn more about Mway knowledge. When you are learning, you already start to jana one. When you are learning from 3 to 18%, you start to make about one to 2,000 a month. It's good enough already because you are still learning. But after two to three years, you must qualify as a 21%. 
Because if you still don't qualify to know percent, then why you are in the business? Because you are not serious. So let's say after five years, you become a 21 percent. Now you make 5,000 ringgit as a part time income. Adakah ini baik? Part time income, same dengan your full time income. And what happened another five years later? Now not only you become 21 percent, you aja tiga orang jadi 21 percent. So you jadi seorang emirate. Emirate is making about 20,000 per month, every month. And another five years, now you become a diamond. You aja enam orang jadi 21 percent. So you are going to get income, you are going to get benefit, you are going to get muscle, you are going to get family, you are going to get leisure. Sekarang, you have a choice to stop building the MOA business. So what happened after you stop? Another five years down the road, even you stop, you are still a diamond. Your income is still 40,000 and you will get security. You are going to get health. What happened if you retire? You are still a diamond. You are still making 40,000. What happened if you pass away? You have a legacy income to be passed on to your next generation. So this is the main reason kenapa history saya dengan saya gila-gila mau buat MOA. This is the reason kenapa Abang Mutu, uh, Kak Sheila has been enjoying the MOA rewards for more than 20 years. Right? So, uh, Amway is very good. I think everybody agree about that. Tapi dalam Amway ya, kita ada tiga masalah. Three problems. Kalau you tahu apa problem ini, and then you dapat mengatasi problem ini, you akan jadi successful. Alright? So, uh, masalah yang pertama, kita rasa takut. Kita takut nak sharing produk dengan orang lain. Kita takut nak buat appointment. Kita takut rejection. Kita takut orang ketawa kita. Kita takut isteri marah kita. Apa-apa pun takut. Betul tak? So, uh, ada seorang orang muda, dia sangat hardworking. Dia always work part time. Sampai malam-malam. So, during the Chinese Ghost Festival month, dia pun kerja sampai malam. Uh, so, uh, uh, dia sepatutnya ambil bas lah, pukul 10. Ambil bas, nak balik rumah. Tapi hari itu lah, Pukul 10, bas tak datang. Dia seorang saja tunggu ke bus stop. Ah. And then itu hujan sudah turun. Sikit-sikit hujan. Uh, itu angin tiup uh, sangat sejuk. Dia rasa sangat takut. Dia tunggu uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, bus tak sampai-sampai. Handphone tak ada bateri, tak boleh panggil grab. So dia terpaksa tunggu itu bus. Tunggu sampai midnight pukul 12, dia nampak itu bus jauh-jauh ah, datang. Very slow the bus come. Bila bas datang, dia terus naik pergi bas duduk, dia tengok tak ada orang dalam bas. Driver pun tak ada. Tapi itu bas masih berjalan. Takut tak? Dia sangat takut. Dia shout, ah! Dan dia turun bawah bas, dia tengok itu driver sedang push itu bas. Sebab bas sudah rosak. So, kenapa kita akan rasa takut dalam MW Business, kawan-kawan sekalian? Sebab kita tak ada ilmu. Kita tak ada ilmu dalam MW business. That's why kita takut. So you can let's say di ini satu uh, uh, ini satu gelas ah. Air sudah penuh. Apa yang you can buat? You can kosongkan itu gelas air dulu. You can kosongkan you punya ilmu. Sebab kita semua tak tahu buat MW before this. Kita kena masuk dalam kelas, belajar ilmu dalam MW. Then you akan dapat itu uh, confidence to share with other people. Then you have more successful way to build the MWA business. Second problem in the MWA business, orang cakap MWA very good, tapi MWA sangat sangat susah nak ber berjaya. Uh, dia tanya you uh, dalam 100 orang yang buat MWA berapa orang boleh berjaya? So macam mana kita nak jawab? Uh, so, uh, the best way to answer uh, is to tell your friend, dalam 100 orang, 3 orang akan berjaya. I punya apply, you dengan saya. Sometimes, uh, dia tanya you, how much money are you making from MWA business now? So, bagi orang yang baru dalam MWA, kita tak not making any money. 
in the animal business. So how do you answer your friends? So you na saya aja you da. Your friends, berapa duit saya dapat dalam MW business tak penting bagi you. Tapi berapa duit yang you mau itu baru penting. I can show you the plan to fulfill your dreams. Betul tak? Apa yang kita buat mula-mula memang susah. Tapi lepas you practice, lepas you take action, slowly but surely, you akan dapat itu skill untuk buat MW business. Ada seorang anti ya, dia every week ya, every Saturday night, dia pergi menari caca. Menari caca. Then, tiba-tiba dia tak pergi menari caca lagi. Dia pergi belajar berenang. So, kawan-kawan susah uh, sudah hairan. Dia cakap, anti, anti, kenapa you tua-tua, you nak pergi belajar berenang? And then, anti jawab, dia kata, sebab rumah saya, uh, anak saya dengan menantu, selalu gaduh. Masa dia orang gaduh, ah, itu isteri selalu tanya anak saya, kadang ada satu hari, emak dengan saya jatuh dalam sungai, dua orang pilih satu, you nak, you nak selamatkan siapa? Emak atau saya? So, anti cakap, I tak nak menyusahkan anak saya lah. Saya belajar berenang, so saya boleh selamatkan saya diri sendiri. So, uh, lepas dua minggu, ini menantu dengan anak gaduh lagi. So dia tanya this question again. Your mother and I fell into the river. Who are you going to say? Uh, so uh, anak sudah bijak lah. Anak cakap, uh, uh, I tak payah masuk sungai. Mak sudah berada beranang. Dia boleh selamatkan anda. Kan bagus macam itu. Tapi uh, perempuan biasa tak mau kalah bunyi. Betul tak? Perempuan mesti mau menang bunyi. Uh, menantu cakap, tak boleh, tak boleh. Ini answer tak boleh. Uh, mesti dua pilih satu. You nak selamat emak ke selamat saya? Uh, then itu husband cakap, kalau you paksa saya pilih, ya, uh, I will tell you the truth. I tak tahu berenang. My mother will surely save me. So apa yang I nak kongsikan is satu orang anti, ya, kalau dia ada satu sebab yang munasabah, dia akan mau belajar. So what about for you, young people out there? Do you have a dream? You ada sebab-sebab nak berjaya dalam MBA business tak? Sama ada you nak travel around the world, sama ada you nak time freedom, sama ada you nak spend more time with your kids, sama ada you nak jadi kaya. You, you, if you have a dream, you will find a way to learn the technique and skills to build the MBA business. Okay? And lastly, Orang cakap, I malas lah. Ha, kalau you malas, memang you tak boleh berjaya. So in this world, ha, there's only sick people. Orang yang sakit. Orang yang sakit, you jangan, you jangan cari abang butu. You pergi cari doktor. Ha, doktor can cure you if you are sick. Tapi if you are not motivated, then you kena cari abang butu dengan Kak Sheila. Come for more function like this. Listen to more sharing. Maybe some of the story will inspire you to change better. Okay? So what about the impact of MCO? Because my topic tonight is business yang kalis inflasi. So MCO is the best test against semua business business out there. Many businesses got affected. If you are the kawan yang buka klinik, uh, buka dental klinik, uh, yang buka restoran, uh, yang 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 buat hair salon, uh, buat apa-apa business saja, the business are affected badly. 30 to 50% affected. Some even 70% to 80%. But I punya MW business grow compared to last year. So during these four months, I my group grow more than 300 new ABO. And I achieved Ruby volume in both March and April. And I break off two new platinum in my group. Uh, not only two new platinum, my new platinum have a second generation Q4. This month will be the fifth month, 21%. And my platinum also have a third generation Q2 and Q1. So I see a lot of achievers in my group. Uh, so uh, 
Uh, what about the income? The income has been fantastic during these three to four months. I've been working as a pharmacist 10 years already. I punya MWA part-time income hari ini still exceed my full-time pharmacist income after working for 10 years. Okay, so uh, before I move on to my final part of sharing, I nak jemput dua orang uh, uh, my business partner to share a short impact with all of you. So the first one I nak invite uh, Shamila. Uh, Shamila uh, worked in the, as a HR and then she joined Mway Business dekat MCO dua bulan lepas. So uh, they attend all the learning classes online and then they work with Ahuin and I and with the team very closely. Uh, now her group has grown uh, uh, very good and then she has achieved 9% last month. So uh, can we have Shamila for a short sharing? Shamila, can you unmute yourself? Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Okay, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mingtian, for inviting me. So, no, uh, Sayu. You can, but I can't turn on the video. Then it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mintian, for inviting me. Uh, sebenarnya saya telah memulakan bisnes dua bulan lepas sahaja. Saya start during MCO lah. So uh, my upline was Priya. Uh, she invited me because uh, I used used to. Uh, share all the health tips and everything. Uh, okay, can can see me? So uh, during MCO period, uh, what happened was I was in the midst of losing weight. So uh, I used to share my uh, ritual workout and home workout. So I and Priya used to work uh, together. We work out together. So masa tu, uh, apa yang berlaku, uh, Priya approached saya untuk uh, join business ni. So at first, uh, I thought, uh, kan semua orang free waktu MCO, I thought, uh, why not just uh, take it as a part-time income? So saya pun join lah waktu tu. So waktu tu, like, I didn't expect that uh, I will be uh, this serious as I am now. So waktu tu, I just uh, start uh, learning. I attend all the meeting. I learn a lot. And then uh, I share everything in Instagram. That's basically, I share my life routine. I use a Neutralite product. So uh, actually, uh, my favorite product was Neutralite. So I used to start using the soy protein and everything. So I also share in the Instagram so actually I managed to lose weight as well so I used as a, a meal replacement and everything so uh, people around me actually watch what I'm doing so that's how my uh, business grows so uh, during the RM30 promotion uh, people start approaching me that they also want to join the business so uh, macam itulah orang uh, start uh, be my ABO and then uh, I uh, leverage my business uh, during uh, last month. I joined the body key challenge. Actually, it was very last uh, minute decision. So what happened? Uh, I thought, okay, I already in the fitness and health type of uh, in the social media. Why not I join? I change my body and show to everyone. Yes, body key is really effective. So in a long term, I want to invest in my health through MWA and also I want to build my business through MWA. So uh, first I want to use for myself and then I prove to everyone that it's really working and then I will, uh, I mean people will come and join me themselves because I no need to go and ask because they see what I'm, I'm doing. So every day I will post my, uh, I, I, this is our watch, I will post uh, my status, whether I completed my challenge and everything. So uh, my long-term goal is one day I want to be a fitness trainer and then uh, I want to be a diamond, uh, that is my long-term goal. So uh, this is like my baby steps I'm putting now. 
So uh, first, I am I am focusing on my health. So in business, uh, first, uh, when we want to succeed, we must have a goal. That goal uh, will motivate you anyhow. Actually, no one need, no one is needed to motivate you. Goal itu akan sendiri akan motivate you guys. So I wish you all all the best. Don't ever give up. Attend all the meetings and all the best to everyone. Okay, thank you so much, Shamila. So, uh, Shamila itu satu, uh, how to say ya, uh, dia sebab dia joy during MCO. So, if dia boleh uh, capai uh, uh, this kind of result uh, during MCO, uh, I believe if we share this opportunity dengan banyak-banyak orang lagi, uh, kita pun akan achieve result yang ini. Uh, so, another uh, another short impact sharing, and I invite Shamila punya up up the line, uh, Dr. Widya. So, uh, dia punya business also grow 70-80% during this MCO in terms of group size, in terms of business volume. Okay, so uh, Vidya, I pass over to you. Okay. Okay, so um, hi, hi everybody. Okay, uh, selamat malam dah. Okay, saya nak share screen sekejap ya. Okay, um, so uh, saya nak uh, ucapkan terima kasih dulu kepada Mintian and uh, Hu Yin sebab uh, they are the reasons why I'm in MA business. So memang nak ucapkan terima kasih and they have been a very, uh, mereka memang mentor yang sangat-sangat-sangat berdedikasi. So I think without them, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here today. So with that, I just nak share sikit um, pasal house my experience in uh, this short time I, so uh, my basically i'm a dentist i graduated from india so sekarang saya kerja kat klang valley saya masih dengan kementerian kesihatan malaysia so interest saya basically uh, selalu um, dari mas, dari kecil lagi lah uh, it's always about nutrition dietetics fitness and health saya sebenarnya dulu nak belajar pasal dietitian nak jadi nutritionist tapi tak jadi jadi dentist pula right So, uh, okay, apa sebabnya kenapa saya nak join MWA dulu? Okay, so saya selalu uh, cari um, opportunity lah masa saya dah join first year of my working kan masa tu kita nak duit, yes, experience one thing. So experience dah dapat. Then um, more income, how to get, you know. So yang tu memang ada dalam, you know, in my mind every day. So um, as you all see macam uh, ki, bila kita kerja, kita dah tahu kita punya income macam mana and uh, saya dalam uh, in government sector, saya dah tahu bila saya pension, saya akan dapat berapa. Bila saya jadi, uh, saya naik grade, saya dapat berapa. So saya boleh dah buat pengiraan sampai umur 60 dah. So bila saya jumpa Mintian, Mintian and I are not friends kita tak tahu, kita memang tak tahu. So we were total strangers. And then bila kita uh, dia, uh, show the plan, I memang I memang klik. I mean, uh, the plan memang klik dengan idea saya. Memang sebab saya dah boleh bayangkan future saya and I memang uh, was a futuristic person juga. Saya memang dah ada uh, plan. So saya uh, saya tak fikir banyak. Saya Memang saya tak tahu apa-apa tentang business, saya tak tahu apa-apa tentang sales. So saya uh, accept dulu. And then in tahun 2018, saya join MWA. So, uh, so apa yang saya buat? Saya uh, saya suka fitness, so saya guna social media dan uh, so saya gabungkan dua-dua lah. So saya uh, banyak cakap pasal fitness, healthy lifestyle. So uh, bila saya dah memang ada um, apa tu, dah memang ada uh, uh, foundation in uh, fitness dengan interest. Uh, so bila saya cakap pasal product neutral light, dia jadi sangat senang. So bila uh, bila saya explain Uh, customer saya lebih, uh, dia, dia yang memang percaya, dia yang trust and they know I'm helping them. Alright? And then saya memang tolong dengan siapa-siapa yang memang ada fitness goal, nak memang nak kurangkan berat badan, nak jadi lebih sihat. Okay? And so what I did, saya selalu uh, memang saya masak sendiri, saya uh, I always do healthy uh, health, health, uh, healthy food preparation and all that. So, apa-apa yang saya buat, saya post, saya insta story. So, I buat every day, consistency lah. Okay, memang kena consistent, kena memang kerap buat. And then, most of my smoothie, shakes, uh, food, recipe, semua guna neutralite product and other product. Okay, tak pernah miss. 
Okay, so uh, during MCO, kita cakap pasal business kalis uh, inflasi kan. So during MCO, uh, macam mana saya punya group memang boleh grow. Saya start, saya dengan downline saya, okay. Saya dengan downline saya, kita orang memang dah berpakat nak nak start virtual group, group workout sebab tak boleh nak buat apa-apa kan. So kita buat apa? Kita memang um, start workout group tu, hari-hari kita buat. Hari-hari kita buat. So bila kita buat, memang kita dapat connect dengan so many people yang memang ada interest yang sama. So bila dah ada, and then we connected with so many people, kita dah boleh tolong lah ramai orang. And then, With MWay 2.0, uh, kita sangat senang untuk show plan, Zoom meeting. You know, kita boleh duduk kat rumah, lepas tu uh, duduk kat sofa lah, duduk kat mana-mana. Memang comfortable sangat kita nak buat meeting and all that. Alright, so uh, kita tak perlu jumpa seseorang kat luar, kita boleh fix time, you know, at, at any time at home. So, flexibility tu ada and all that. So, saya memang gunakan lah that platform. And kita memang masa MCO juga, kita banyak buat uh, skin talk, And then, uh, upline saya memang arrange skin talk and all that. So, saya invite. Invite ramai. So, uh, my current journey, saya memang dah achieve my fitness goal during MCO. With uh, Saya tak pergi gym, tapi saya dapat support daripada my workout team. My uh, Saya hanya ambil uh, neutralized soy protein, body key meal replacement dengan phyto powder. Alright, so this is how I create content. I memang si, uh, buat benda ni semua, hari-hari buat, hari-hari share and I memang gunakan produk MV and Neutralite sahaja. And so yeah, ini lagi. And so kita, saya dengan downline saya, so uh, downline saya ialah Priya and kita uh, dah start uh, Instagram page, memang during MCO juga kita start and kita memang fokus about uh, healthy food, healthy lifestyle and how you boleh guna Neutralite dengan artistry untuk Uh, for a healthier, better life. Alright, so kalau y'all ada masa, then y'all boleh share juga. Uh, and y'all boleh uh, follow and understand better. Okay, so with that, terima kasih sangat and thank you for thank you for listening and with that, kalau saya boleh achieve, I think everyone can achieve with that. I would say, uh, I wish you all the best. Okay, semua untuk semua orang. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vidya. So her group has grown more than 100 people already in her group. And I believe uh, uh, very soon, uh, she will achieve her 18% and 21% for Varisha. Okay, uh, so let me end with the last five minutes untuk tunjuk anda semua. Kalau anda bersungguh-sungguh buat Mway, and you can have the uh, delayed gratification, you can also enjoy the rewards like how my family and I enjoy from the MWA business. But first, you kena buat satu keputusan, you kena serious dalam buat MWA business. So, I tunjuk you 2010, when I started, my income is very low. And uh, after saya kahwin dengan istri saya, I bawa dia pergi Melaka untuk celebrate Valentine's Day. You tengok apa yang kita minum, limau ice. So, kita makan seafood di tepi laut to celebrate. Valentine's Day. So because we work very hard in the MWA business, in the second year, we qualify as platinum. In the third year, we qualify Founders Platinum. The income from Founders Platinum, 125,000, is more than husband and wife combined pharmacy's income. And since then, every year, kita dapat income yang sangat-sangat bagus from MWA business, part-time. And in 2013 also, kita qualified pergi Hokkaido. So in Hokkaido, uh, kita dapat banyak experience lah. Kita dapat main dengan sauji, uh, kita boleh makan seafood. Alright, and then uh, lepas tu kita qualified pergi Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Not only kita uh, qualified, I also bring along two couple dengan saya untuk pergi Las Vegas. So, uh, Las Vegas memang sangat-sangat bagus, uh, tapi I tak akan kongsi dengan you lah. Alright, and then uh, next kita pergi Mediterranean Cruise. Uh, kita dapat satu luxury cruise kat Europe for eight days, seven nights. So, uh, kalau kita uh, tak mau pergi cruise, MW akan bayar saya balik RM25,000 cash. Kalau saya pergi cruise, saya punya trip worth 44,750 ringgit. 
So of course, I choose to spend the cruise with my wife. Okay, so kita sudah uh, uh, ibu bapa kepada tiga orang anak kecil. Kita memang tak ada masa untuk dating kat Malaysia. So masa kat cruise, every day boleh dress up nicely and then kita boleh dating semula. Every night kita dating. Uh, kita pergi makan, every night dapat buffet, five dining. Uh, five dining maksudnya you boleh order appetizer, boleh order main course, boleh order dessert. Uh, buffet, maksudnya you can order five, six, seven, eight appetizer. So you nampak sini, we order nine appetizer. And then kita uh, suka makan uh, udang, kita order four udang appetizer. And then main course, kita satu orang order satu. Uh, dessert nanti pun order dua dessert. Okay. Uh, last year, December, kita pergi Dubai. Uh, Dubai dapat banyak experience. Kita main dengan dolphin. Uh, saya dapat pergi Spelari World, uh, uh, the world fastest roller coaster. 0 to 240 km dalam 4.6 seconds saja. Uh, Dubai is the only trip lah. Uh, saya satu sen pun tak bawa pergi Dubai. Uh, lepas kita main 6 day 5 night balik, I ada duit lagi from Amway. Sebab Amway bagi pocket money. Uh, how fantastic is this kind of trip by Amway? And let me ask you a question lah. Uh, Kalau lah, kalau anda ada extra income 20,000 setiap tahun, you nak bawa keluarga you pergi melancong. Uh, you akan bawa you punya isteri atau bawa you punya anak-anak atau bawa you punya parents atau bawa you diri sendiri pergi melancong. Yang mana satu? Boleh you type keluar tak? Kalau you nak bawa isteri, tekan satu. Nak bawa anak, tekan dua. Nak bawa ibu bapa, tekan tiga. Nak bawa diri sendiri, tekan empat. Oh, ada orang tekan lima. You can bring all if you have the income. No problem. But kalau you hanya ada dua puluh ribu, macam mana you nak bawa semua orang tak? So because of every income yang I dapat, over the past four to five years, Setiap tahun, I dapat bawa my lovely wife, I bawa my anak, I bawa my parents, I bawa di sendiri. Anak saya, you are very good. I tell you, my anak, I punya anak tiga orang ah, uh, dia sudah pergi Phuket, dia sudah pergi Krabi, uh, sudah pergi Singapore uh, lebih lima kali, uh, sudah pergi uh, kota Kina baru. Sudah pergi Gold Coast Australia, sudah pergi Hong Kong, sudah pergi Japan. Okay, so if you are my children, then you see you are really, really good life. Lah. Alright, uh, so last year saja, I pergi overseas lima kali. Tapi my, my income from Amway is still very good every month. Uh, I pergi Hong Kong satu minggu, at the same time, I bayar for my parents to ikut I punya kakak pergi Taiwan. In, uh, in May, I pergi Singapore. Uh, in July, I bawa istri saya pergi uh, honeymoon in uh, 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 in Maldives to celebrate our wedding anniversary. Uh, so kita dapat duduk dalam uh, over water villa, and then kita dapat uh, private dinner over Maldives. Uh, I balik from Dubai with my wife. One day later, I flew my three kids to Osaka for one week. Uh, lepas balik from Osaka. Lima orang semua kena influenza. So for another one week, I didn't go to work. So basically last year December, satu bulan, I hanya keluar rumah four to five days saja. Tapi my Amway income sustain. Itu message yang sangat-sangat penting. Alright? And then I just want to show you, uh, last week, I balik from Langkawi. So Datai Langkawi is one of the world best hotel in the world. Uh, memang memang five star. So I spent a good time there. Uh, in four day, three night, it cost me about my one month salary as a pharmacist to spend there for four days, three night. So memang my wife and I, we spend a lot of money in travel. Kita suka travel. Uh, so uh, I now set my goal. Uh, kita akan buat Amway gila-gila because uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. We nak share this opportunity with many, many other people. We want to help more people to succeed in life. 
we have seen amazing growth in our team during this MCO period. So we will continue to work with them closely to help them to grow their business, to move up in PIN because we want to be a diamond in 2021. So with that, if we can do it at young age, I believe all of you, if you follow the footsteps of Abang Mutu and Kat Sheila, you can also make it possible. Thank you very much. I pass back to MC. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mintian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your sharing was superb and uh, congratulations. You really uh, shared uh, your whole heart uh, generously. It was so wonderful. And thank you too to uh, Sharmila, 9 percenter who shared about how she lost weight and how she came in. And also thank you to Dr. Vitya. And uh, it was a surprise to us uh, to see two impact speakers from your part, uh, Mintian. Thank you so much. And um, I would like to say ingin uh, ambil peluang ni untuk ucapkan tanya kepada semua yang hadir. Eh. So, uh, anda nampak tak? Setiap kali guest speaker datang, memang masing-masing uh, sharing mereka, dia lain. Yeah, dia tak sama. Mereka tak tulis dan cakap kepada anda. Mereka sharing daripada hati ke hati. ya. Eh. So, anda kena faham bisnes ini adalah bisnes yang uh, luar biasa. ya. Eh. Dia tak sama. Eh. Jadi, kami rasa sangat bangga hari ini uh, kami dapat membawa kepada anda uh, the brand new Emerald Direct, uh, Min Tian and dia punya isteri. Dan uh, congratulations kepada anda semua uh, yang berada di sana. Anda juga satu hari boleh jadi uh, guest speaker macam Min Tian. Ya, jadi tetapkan matlamat anda, ikut jejak upline anda, uh, kami pasti anda boleh buat. Jadi sekian, uh, selamat malam. Jumpa anda di program-program akan datang. Bye, Sheila.